In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to draw an isometric drawing in AutoCAD. If you're familiar with working in AutoCAD, you might think of it as a tool primarily for 2D drawings or as having complex functions for 3D work. However, creating isometric drawings can add another dimension to your designs, quite literally. And you don't even need to use the 3D function of AutoCAD. I'm here to guide you through this straightforward process, ensuring you get a grip on using isometrics efficiently. Let's dive into it. We have a sample drawing ready, and we're going to use AutoCAD's isometric drawing capabilities to recreate it. First, let's address the initial question. How do you activate isometric drawing mode in AutoCAD? It's simple. You'll want to look towards the bottom of your interface. There, you'll find an icon dedicated to switching into isometric drawing mode. Give it a click and you're on your way. Now, if you'd prefer not to use the mouse and love using the command line like a true KD enthusiast, there's an alternative way. You can type isodraft directly into the command line. After executing this command, you'll need to select an ISO plane. AutoCAD will give you three options here, left, right, and top. For our task today, we'll choose isoplane left. This selection is crucial because it determines the direction of your isometric axis, guiding how you'll visualize the depth of your drawing. With isoplane left active, you've set the stage to start drawing on the isometric plane. You should notice how your axes have adjusted, with the horizontal lines tilted and ready for that unique isometric perspective. Isometric drawing in AutoCAD doesn't just allow you to create three-dimensional looking objects. It also enables you to draw in a way that maintains consistent angles throughout, which is particularly beneficial for technical drawings needing precision. As you begin sketching, a little tip here, frequently zoom in and out to ensure your drawing remains aligned across different views. This maneuver helps avoid skewed lines or perspectives, keeping everything precise. Also remember that in isometric drawings, objects do not distort artificially toward a vanishing point. Like those in perspective drawing, your lines should maintain parallelism, conveying depth without distorting the image's scale. Now, I'm taking a moment to bring our sample isometric drawing to life using the steps we've outlined. Watch how the different isoplanes can affect the visual outcome of each angled line. Experimenting with these settings will eventually make it second nature and give your technical drawings an edge, refining them to convey the full depth and dimensionality they deserve. And just like that, you're drawing in isometric mode, no fuss, no complexity, just a straightforward enhancement to your KD skill set. Explore different isoplanes and make autopiloting your project a breeze. Thank you for watching, and I hope this walkthrough made isometric drawing in AutoCAD clear and approachable. If you have any questions or need further insight into utilizing other features, feel free to reach out. Happy drawing!